ואת המילים האלה אני אעדיף להגיד באנגלית תקווה שיום מן היומים מייק לי ישמע אותם. I'm delighted to be here, um, especially to present the Mike Lee Award for Political and Moral Courage. The background to this award is as follows. As you know, Mike Lee, against whom I have absolutely nothing, nothing but respect for Mike Lee, he's a professional of repute, uh, international acclaim, and we may even be mishpucha because there were Liebermans in my family, and I, I remember... <laughs> I remember a story about a Moshe Lieberman, Moshe Lieberman, Mike Lee. <laughs> so we could even be Mishpucha. Uh, and Mr. Lee wrote an uh, open letter when he uh, uh, refused to come and lecture at the Sam Spiegel Film School uh, at the last minute, to which he was invited and all the preparations had been made. And he did it because a uh, motion had been tabled in the Knesset for uh, a law that would pass a loyalty oath amongst <coughs> many folks to Israel, both Arab and Jew alike, who would have to express their allegiance and their loyalty to the Jewish democratic state of Israel. And that offended Mr. Lee terribly. And he wrote an open letter and published it, saying that that was the last straw. From then on, he was finished with Israel, would not set foot in Israel, because it was clear it was an anti-democratic country. Uh, and he listed Israel's many sins, and the last one of which, which he could not possibly forgive, was this action against any kind of democratic values, insisting that people take, of all horrible things, a loyalty to both to Israel if they became new immigrants. And I wrote an open letter to Mike Lee, which was published widely. And in that letter, I took Mr. Lee to, to task. And I said again, listen, we're both screenwriters. We're both Jewish. We have a lot in common. But I'm surprised that you take such offense at Israel. First of all, it was simply a law that was proposed. It wasn't yet passed. Asking for a loyalty oath of new immigrants, and yet you don't object to the fact that the United States has a loyalty oath, that your country, the United Kingdom, Great Britain, has a loyalty oath. And I'm even more surprised because you seem to be so concerned, and rightfully so, with the sensitivity of Muslim citizens, that you're not offended by the fact that a new immigrant to the United Kingdom has to swear a loyalty oath to the head of the Church of England, who is in fact the Queen, something that Israel would never do. I said, but I have, like I say, nothing against you. But when you say, and he said, it took great political and moral courage for him to take this step, to not come to Israel, I said, that we both know is nonsense. It takes no political or moral courage to bash Israel in Europe today, and especially not to bash Israel in the United Kingdom today. It takes no political or moral courage of any kind. I said, so what I'm going to do, Mike, is establish a scholarship. And it's going to be given not at the Sam Spiegel Film School, because I already give a scholarship at the Sam Spiegel School, and the memory of my son, Zachy Gordon, and all talked about that in a moment, and from the Zaki Gordon Institute for Independent Filmmaking, and I don't want to confuse the two. So I said, I'm going to establish a scholarship at Maale Film School, which started out as a film school for religious girls, and it's going to be called the Mike Lee Scholarship for Political and Moral Courage, in the hopes that one day you'll be worthy of the scholarship that bears your name. And since we're recording this today, I would just like to point out to Mike, I'll call you Mike, Mike, <laughs> that you may have read in the papers that over the last several months, the Arabs of every country in the Middle East, from North Africa to the Persian Gulf, from Tunisia to Bahrain, have been literally risking their lives in demonstrations to demand the basic 
democratic rights and human rights and opportunities for a better life that every person strives for. Of every country in the Middle East, except one, the only country in which Arabs in the Middle East have not risen up to demand democratic rights is the State of Israel, and the only Arabs who haven't risen up are the Arab Israeli citizens of the Jewish Democratic State of Israel. And the reason for that is very simple. It is because they already have, and have always had, those democratic rights which their brethren are now risking their lives for. So Mike, if you have the political and moral courage you owe Israel and the Sam Spiegel School and Male and your brethren an apology. And if you have the political and moral courage to do that, then you will be worthy of the award that I'm so pleased to hand out today. <laughs> הפרס, פרס מייק לי, אנחנו שמחים להעניק אותו לנועם קידר. על הריסות שלך, על הכישרון שלך, על המסירות שלך, על זה שאתה יושב פה ימים ולילות לבד ומחזיק את כל בית הספר על הכתפיים. ולזה שאתה ציוני וגאה ו... Thank you very much. Thank you very much.